Hello, my name is Matthew, and welcome, you, and welcome to the Team Tunis' live demo of the five steps of archaeology. The five steps in the archaeological method, in order, are background research, excavation, analysis finding, publication, and preservation. Right now, we are doing background research on the Punic War, fought between Rome and Carthage. We will be focusing on the Battle of Tunis, aka the Battle of the Grades. In this step, we need to find out what to look for, where to look, and what the geography is like. Let's see what we found so far. Jimmy, where did the battle take place? Okay, Matthew, so far we figured out that the Battle of Tunis took place in present-day Tunis, the capital of the country Tunisia. Tunisia is the northernmost country in Africa, bordered by Libya, Algeria, and the Mediterranean Sea. That would be something to look for. Lena, is there anything else to look for? We might get lucky and find some of the elephant tasks from the elephants that they used during battle. Cool. And Caitlin, what is the geography like in Tunisia, specifically Tunis? Tunis is connected to the Lake Tunis, which is connected to the Mediterranean Sea, which would have been a good place for the Roman Navy. And the city itself is built on the slope of a hill, so you might want to keep that in mind during the day. Wow. Good job, team. I think we are ready to travel to Tunis to start the excavation process. Let's go. Right now, we are in the middle of the excavation process. This is when we will start today. We are looking for artifacts. We will need a permit to start the dig. We have a permit, and now we need workers with a defined role. Safety must come first. To help record your data, the dig site must be set up in a grid one. Hey team, what have you found? I may have found some tools that could have been used by the Spartan Xanathopus, who was commanding the Carthaginians during the battle. I found a model of a ship that could have related to the ships used by the Romans. I found an elephant tusk that might have been from the elephants we used in battle. Look, I also found a map of the Carthaginian battle plans. And I have found a shield used by a warrior. We found a lot of artifacts, so let's head back to the lab to analyze our findings. In the analysis of findings, you must carefully take your findings to the lab to study. For each hour you spend in the field, you spend about 10 hours in the lab studying. During your studying in the lab, you need to ask yourself four questions. How old is it? What is its purpose? Why was it made? And did they make it or trade for it? Matthew, what is the purpose of your greaves? These were used to protect the ankles and shins of warriors. Lena, why was your map made? It was made so everyone knew the area. Wow, and Jimmy, did, you, did they make or trade for that shield? I think they made it because every shield had to be similar. I think we are ready to get to the publication step. After you analyze your artifacts, you have to publicize them. We want to publicize our findings so we can put all of our information in one place and make a contribution. Our team is working on newspaper articles that we can send to the newspaper to get published. Lena, what are you writing about? I'm writing about the map that we found. Great. How about you, Jimmy? I'm writing about the shield and how it was used. Good job. And how about you, Morgan? I'm writing about the model ship I found. Good work, everyone. Let's get start on the next final step, preservation. Preservation is the final step of the archaeological method. This step is when all the artifacts are saved for further generations to see. This, is, this step is important so that other people can see what you found in many years. Caitlin, how are you doing with your sphere? Good. I'm wrapping it up so it'll be safe. Okay, good. Matthew, what are you, how are you going to preserve your greens? Well, right now I'm wrapping them up so that they can be displayed in the museum. Well, that's a great idea. How about you, Morgan? How are you planning to preserve your artifact? Go, keep going. My model ship is wrapped up and will be preserved in an, in an oxygen-reduced environment. Wow, great job on all the steps, team. Now people in the future will be able to examine the artifacts with better technology. Keep up the great work.